What kind of wood are you going to be splitting? Sir? What kind of wood are you going to be splitting? Oh. You know them trees. Well, I what, six months ago. You talking about them pines? No, them oaks. Big old oaks over there. You come over there and took pictures of them. Come on back. Come on back, that book. Come on back. Get a bit more. Oh! All right. Lock it down. I'm going to uh, grind some of that off. Metal one in my lip to yesterday. But I got a working room here. Dang. One down. Quite a bit of grinding on that. Makeshift. Uh, Paper and I cut mine up for some reason or another, never to get another, and can't never think of it. A few more to go. That's my favorite wedge right there. I use that quite a bit. Busted up all them logs in the front yard with that. Once I grind that off, it'd be about gone. Time to retire it. Let me turn this around. A few sparks is coming this way. Get it out of harm's way. If this old wore out saw blade will cut these off here. Either that or I'll be all day grinding on that. Yeah. Little action on that. For a second or two anyway. Harder to cut right here. This is the edge that's peeled back. As close as it gets to the outside edge on the bottom there, it cuts like butter. Which means it was uh, hardened on the outside only. Starting to cut real good now. Dougie, uh, one of the things happened here one time, this has been quite some time ago. I was uh, standing right here and I was working on something, probably that little tractor. I might have been up a little further, somewhere in here. And uh, Thomas, he was right there, and uh, I guess his truck was probably in front of that tractor. Had a Dodge Green uh, truck he was working on. And uh, that's real funny. And when he's working on something, something don't go right, he starts taking the wrenches and beating the crap out of it. I'm over here just shaking my head on that, you know. Anyway, I'm uh, right here working. 
and out of the corner of my eye, out of the left corner of my eye, I, I looked up, you know, I seen somebody just go past the shed part to the right, and they had on a red flannel shirt, and uh, right out of the corner of my eye, and then I quickly looked over here, yeah, uh, Thomas was still there, so I took off running down through there. I run up through yonder, and uh, seen nobody. I didn't see the head part, just the shoulders. He, that was, he was just right there on the edge of that uh, shed. Old Thomas is uh, no longer with us. He killed himself on uh, drugs or something. I'm going to try and cut this piece off of here. I welded on there quite some time ago. I'm going through 7018 low high. May cut it, may not. Wouldn't cut it too good, I set it back. <sighs> you always know you're a good welder when you just hate to grind off something that you welded. Did I sock that in there or what? Let me see what I can do with that. Well, I took a while. Got four of them done. I think that one right yonder don't need it. I don't think. And now it's getting dark. Yeah, I'm going to give this a little bit while I'm doing it. Might as well. All right, now I'm done with this grinding for the day. get accomplished. Snow and rain coming back in here. Boy, that blows. Man, oh man. I wish I had room under this shed here, but I don't pull this tractor. Yeah, I still got a lot of junk to clean up. That's pretty funny whoever put that on there a while ago about the uh, Hitler being mad about the snow coming to Atlanta. I watched that, I just rolled. That's funny. Where was that on? It's on Facebook. It's a whole uh, little actor thing put together. I don't know who put them together like that, but that's really funny. Let me see the experiment. They say if you let the uh, gauge touch the bottom of the pot, it'll be a different temperature or the edge. Same thing. Identical. 